Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to another epi episode three of um the mob battle series. So um, I'm pretty sure some of you are starting school today, tomorrow, the day before. I don't know. And so um, just thought I'd put that out there. I don't know why. So today we have the Minotaur boss. If you didn't see at last episode, I'll put a link in the description, and also put a link in the description to the Chocolate Quest mod. And the Twilight Forest, yes. Today we are doing the Minotaur boss from the Chocolate Quest mod. Who, um, I'm going to just show you off what he has. He has 500 health and he's very quick and he deals a lot of damage. And Yeah, why not just sit down. So, um, yeah, so. He will be going up against the Naga, who is very long, cool who is very long and the only way to dam and is very quick but not as quick as the minotaur and the only way to damage him is what by attacking his head so if the minotaur can minotaur can keep up and attack his head then he's got it oh no one piece one here we go so the Naga has 120 health are they not gonna fight no I think he just has to go near him and then he'll get pretty angry Come on, hurt him. There we go. He should be very angry. Yes, yeah, see, he's going after his head. But the big battles with the Nogas, they like always win. So I can't do much battles because it'd be unfair because he wouldn't be able to keep up to the Nogas speed. So he has to go for the head. And that's the only way for him really to take it out. Oh, and that did a lot of damage. So the Naga doesn't have much health, but... He can do a lot of damage over time. Why is my damage indicators not working? Oh no. I can't really see. Okay, so he is taking very low damage. The Nog is taking 80. Has 66 left. So he is doing a lot. So I'm pretty sure the Minotaur has got this battle. Okay. It's fine, by He's have the mentor is having trouble getting to his head though, so whenever so he's just gonna run by and bam he's gonna get hurt. Uh oh the Nogi's almost about to die. Yeah, I think the Minotaur's gonna win this. Wow then. Wow the Minotaur's the strongest guy we have. Gotta find another strong mob to put him up against. Maybe you know later battle. I don't want him going like three times in a row. And he has killed the Naga. Wow, I'm proud of you, dude. Okay, so. Now on to round two. And I just gave him a weapon. Okay, so welcome back to, like, round two, I guess. So the Minotaur boss is right now undefeated. I'm going to count this as a win, but just to keep the battle going to make it more interesting. Two Minotaur bosses? How did he get that? Did he take mine? I don't know. I guess he spawned with it. Versus three... Nagas. So I definitely think the Minotaurs are gonna have a very hard time. Stop chatting and fight. I think the Minotaurs are gonna have a very, very hard time taking him out. Because look how many bodies that is to, to to fight them with. That's what I like about the Naga. So Oh my goodness gracious, I'm so sorry, dude. So dealing more damage. They're trying to go after the head, but the, the other guys are basically protecting them. Two of them are inside each other. You just have to feel bad for the Minotaurs. Oh, he got his head. Oh, where's his teammates? So that guy's sort of useless now. Because they're long bodies and he just hit them for so far away. Small guy's useless, but he will be a lot faster. Oh, someone's body, someone's body fell off. I think, I think it's the small guys, so. Small guys is going so quick. Oh, let me see your help, dude. Stop running away. Um. 426. Wow, I thought it would have took it, taken a lot more damage from that, than that. I think, instead of having to kill them all, I think I'm just... Considering that the Nagas can go away on peaceful, I think I just can spawn a lot of Nagas and then make it go back to peaceful to kill the mob. 
Where's the other guy? Oh, is that guy going by him on a... Ooh, I think one died. Oh, no. Oh, when he kills him, how is he going to find him? Oh, no, he's coming over. There's only one Naga left, and that Naga is huge. 406. Wow, I thought they would have taken a lot more damage. They're so strong, though. One Naga is about to die. So I guess I'll end the episode after this. 372. Yeah, that guy's taking a lot of damage. Let's see how over here is doing. Minotaurs are so quick. Oh, and one Naga has, has been killed. Oh. It's a long, the biggest Naga. It's going after him. No, not head first, dude. Oh, he just barely missed his head. That could have saved him. That's a big thing. It was crazy, though. Oh, here's his... Blue. <laughs> Running over your own head. Okay. How is it? How are they doing over there? Okay, I guess the min the Naga over there is dead. So one Naga remains and two Minotaurs. Or I guess only one Minotaur because I can't really see the other. So it's a one v one now. Oh, I thought this would have been a lot fairer. That's even weird. Oh, some body pieces are going off. Let me see. How much health do you have left? 234. Wow. This Naga's done so much damage. It's because when they work together, if, if it was a 3v1, the guy would like die instantly. Because that's how I cleared the last Minotaur. 48 health remaining against 218. Wow, I think the Minotaur is the strongest. I'll have to find out. I don't want the Minotaur to go three times in a row, though, so. Okay, going for the kill. Okay, sure, I'm so quiet, just Oh, and he's down! You have one in here. Take his head. Okay, so the Minotaur has won twice and not a single loss. Wow. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Thank you guys for watching.